fourth session, Twins, the Power of Epigenetics. We are here with Doret Bunsman, a professor, uh, which is the coordinator of the Action Project. And uh, we want to ask her, uh, what is the Action Project and which are the main results of the Action Project at the third year of the activities? Action is a large international collaboration between different countries funded by the EU which looks at the causes, the etiology of childhood aggression, the consequences of childhood aggression for the child, its family, its teachers, its behavior in the classroom and society at large. We have now done three years of research in this project and we have several uh, important first findings. First, differences between children in aggression are to a very large extent heritable. That is, aggression and aggressive behaviors are influenced by the genome. Secondly, aggression rarely occurs on its own. Children with aggressive problems have other problems, mainly problems having to do with conduct disorder, attention problems, but also depression. And on our Action website, there is a wonderful application where people can actually have a look at how important the comorbidity of aggression with other childhood pathologies is. Thirdly, we are now doing a very large project with multiple collaborators looking for the genetic variants that influence aggression and also searching for biomarkers. Biomarker work is inspired by all the work that is going on here on Sardinia to work with biomarkers in urine, which is easily obtained from children. And fourth, Again, I refer to the website for the newsletters that report on these results. We have done a very large interview study among psychiatrists, pediatricians and stakeholders in Europe, asking them what they think the main problems are with childhood aggression. And they mention two issues. It is very hard to treat, so we need more knowledge on the causes of aggression. And secondly, they confirm aggression does not occur on its own. It is a condition that very often goes hand in hand with other problems in children. So which are the next step of the action project? So in the next two years, we hope to finish the gene finding study and a report on new genetic variants. We hope to finish a large epigenetics project. We hope to finish the biomarker work and then put everything together into a large integrative model. Thank you, Professor. My pleasure.